Okay, so we're going to have a look at the binomial theorem in this one. <clears throat> All right, so this is outcome P4. So what is a binomial? A binomial is a polynomial with two terms, okay? A polynomial with two terms. Okay, so this is the binomial theorem. And what we're looking at is, so these guys here, they're written as binomials, okay? So a polynomial with two terms. And, but notice that these are all, these all have a power, right? Now, how would we, how would we expand this one here? This one we would write as x plus y times x plus y, and then we would multiply, we would, we would use distributive property, right? So we'd multiply x times x, we'd get x squared, x times y plus xy, and then this, so we have another xy, so why don't I just make a 2 there, and then y squared plus y squared. Okay, now this one here, we've got x plus y times x plus y times x plus y. <coughs> Excuse me, we've got it written three times, right? Now, can you imagine expanding that? It's, it's very doable, it's possible, but it's gonna take a little while. And then imagine if you had four that you had to do. It'd take even longer. Imagine if we had like 10 of them would take forever. All right, so this is why we have the binomial theorem. Uh, just some definitions here. A is the first term in the binomial. B is the second term in the binomial. N is the exponent of the binomial, okay? And there's some characteristics that we need to familiarize ourselves with. So if we look at the patterns uh, when we expand them from above, what do we see? Well, we see with the binomial expansion, uh, we refer to the first term of the binomial <coughs> as A, and the second is B, okay? The exponent of A decreases, so by one in each term of the expansion, and the exponent of B increases by one. So what that's referring to, in the, in the example above, we've got x here, right, for the a. So I'm going to slide back up after the delay, okay. Um, and if I look at the x values, the x, well, tell me about the exponents on the x's. They decrease, they go down, right? And tell me about the exponents on the y's. They increase, they go up. So the x's... The first, whatever, the first term here, they decrease, <coughs> and the second one, they increase, okay? Now, this one, if we, if we look at what, like, notice how we've got y squared, y to the power of 1. What is this? There's y to the power of 0. What's y, what's anything to the power of 0? 1, okay? So that's why we don't even bother writing it down. So erase that. That's gone. Okay. So there are always n plus 1 terms of the expansion where n is the exponent. So when we have, when we have an exponent, if we slide back up, how many terms do we have for this fourth one here where we have an exponent of 4? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 terms there. You see that? So we have n plus 1 terms when we've expanded. Now, the sum of the exponents, if we look at the sum of the exponents of each individual term, it's always going to be equal to the exponent of the binomial. So I'm going to slide back up. What can you tell me is the sum of these two exponents? Four. What's the sum of these two? Four. What's the sum of four. these two? Okay, so it always adds up to four. So we could tell the exponent on it by just adding them up. 
All right, now, the coefficients are symmetric, which means that it reads the same from the left to the right, okay? And R and can be found using the combinations where N is the value of the exponent. So, for example, if we look at the fourth one, the coefficients for x plus y to the power of 4, those are going to be, and in order, 4 choose 0 equals 1. The first coefficient on it is 1. 4 choose 1 is? 4. four. That's the coefficient on the second term. Third term has? 4 choose 2. Okay? And it goes on like that. So note that the coefficient of the first term is always, always 1. Okay. So in the next one, we're going to do the, we're going to do some actual examples. Okay? So I'm going to...